Welcome to Opalest TV. Today I'm in Boca Raton in Florida. I have with me today Han Ming Rao. He is the founder of the Global Sigma Group, a company he set up in 2009. But before that, he worked at some of the biggest and most exciting hedge funds. So I want to ask Han Ming now, please introduce yourself, give us your background, and tell us also what you're doing right now at the Global Sigma Group. My name is Han Ming Rao. I was originally from China, and I studied in Tsinghua University. I came to the United States in 1997. I went to Harvard University to study computer sciences and engineering sciences. I got my master's degree in computer sciences in 1998, and I got my PhD in engineering sciences in 2005. When I was at Harvard, I studied in trading and got interested in the equity option area. I decided to pursue as my career after I graduated from Harvard University. I started my finance career at Anington Management Group, a hedge fund in Greenwich, Connecticut, as a mortgage quant. After a year there, I moved to SAC Capital as a global macro trader. I traded a lot of products, including options in equity indexes, fixed income, crude oil, and other fixed income products. In 2009, I joined Millennium Partners as a statistical arbitrage trader. I presented a few option strategies over there, but the group I was in focused entirely on the stocks only, so it's a little bit frustrated because the strategies actually work very well in that environment. I later left Millennium Partners and tried to start my own company. I started Global Sigma at the end of 2009 with uh, initial capital from alumni in half of the business school. The strategy mainly traded SP500 uh, options and uh, it actually coincided with uh, the launch of uh, weekly options by CME Exchange. It's very important for us to trade short daily options because the model we have typically predicts the volatility for the next day or two. So with, with our weekly options, we can, we can leverage the, the result much better compared to our longer daily options. So Han Ming, now you have a six and a half year track record with your original fund. And I would guess that also during the time your investor base has involved. So please tell us now, where are you now? What's your asset base you're managing right now? And how has your investor base evolved? Right now, we manage about 300 million and we grow our business tremendously over the past six and a half years. Our investors started from high level worth individuals and right now we have uh, investors all around the globe. We have a uh, still have high net worth, we have family offices, we have some institutional investors such as overseas pension fund, we have a fund of fund, and we have some also European institutions as well. Okay, that's great. Now, please tell us also more about the actual strategy. How does it work? How do you make money? Yeah, the strategy mainly trade short dated options on SP500. We have a prediction model, try to predict the short-term volatility movement for the SP500. In order to leverage that uh, prediction model, we best trade short daily options because what happens next day or two is going to have a much higher weight for short daily options compared to a much longer daily options. In addition, short daily options have much less volatility exposure compared to longer daily options. And we, our main risk is uh, gamma exposure. It's actually much easier for us to hedge our risk if we only have a gamma exposure because the underlying is very liquid. We trade SP500, this is the most liquid uh, products in, in equity space. So that it's much easier for us to do the risk management. And uh, that way we can offer clients a very liquid products. In general, the short dated options are overpriced. So we sell short dated options and we also from time to time buy some 
uh, options to hedge if that option is cheaper compared to the intrinsic value. We trade very frequently, and uh, every trade we make a small money. And overall, the small profit accumulated, and we generate a very consistent return over time. How would you say are you special or different compared to competitors in your space? I think we are special in that we trade almost exclusively weekly options with very high turnover rate. We are also very active hedging our portfolio when market is against us. How would you describe the benefits you're offering to your investors? Australia has negative correlation with the underlying asset class, hedge fund index, and etc. It can be a very good complementary for other strategies, such as trend following and a long only product. Describe to us, please, what opportunities you're focusing on, and also have you expanded into other strategies as well? We try to apply the same trading philosophy to other markets. And in April of last year, we started another strategy focused on short data options on U.S. Treasury futures. Both strategies are correlated to the underlying market, and also they are correlated to each other. What would you say is the outlook for your fund and your strategies? With increasing uncertainty in the market, the option market provides a very favorable condition for our strategy. We are confident to excel in this kind of environment. So you started at Harvard, and you worked in Connecticut and in New York City. What brought you now down to Florida? I got invited by Palm Beach Investor Group a few years ago, and the organizer convinced me this is a better place to grow the business. It took me a year to look around and settle at a broker town in Florida. Soon after, I found several other big hedge funds also relocated or open offices here. I believe this will be the trend in the near future. Right now, we have seven people working in our office here, including myself and the CEO that worked with me at SEC before a dedicated risk manager who worked with me for three years, an execution trader we hired from Graham Capital, a dedicated operation analyst, and a portfolio manager we hired with 13 years experience at PIMCO.